to my channel. My name is Jin and I'm a high school teacher from New York. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a couple of different drag and drop activities. Now, I know a lot of times drag and drop activities seem like they're just for elementary school students, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you one that I use in my high school classroom. So they can really be adapted with your own content for any grade area or subject. So hopefully, no matter what you teach, you find some useful tips in this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Let's get started. So this is a money game where the students are going to drag and drop the money. So this is obviously for elementary school students, but I think that the techniques that I show you when making it can be used for any grade level. They drag and drop the money and then go on to the next slide and they go through the whole activity until they get to the end where they are sent back to Google Classroom and they can turn in their assignment. And if you don't use Google Classroom, that's totally fine. You can use this activity on any LMS that you would use Google Slides with, and they just about all use Google Slides. This is the other activity. So here, in this activity, I ask them to sort what is a computer and what is not a computer. So this is not a computer. And they would just go through and sort each item into the box and till they, once again, go back to Google Classroom and submit their work when they're done in the same way. This is an activity I use in my high school classroom. So this is definitely um, an activity that can be used for any grade level. And like I said, this is, this is an example of an activity, but I think that the techniques and the things that I teach you in making this, you can adapt to your own content and use in any way that you like. So let's get started making these activities. Okay, so we're in a new Google Slides presentation. Now I'm just going to clean up my workspace a little bit. Close out the themes. If you have your speaker notes showing, you can press view and uncheck show speaker notes. You can either drag and drop to highlight the text boxes and press delete, or you can Right click on the slide over here on the left. Right click, remember, is two fingers on the trackpad. Apply layout and blank. And there's other ways too, but those are a couple of ways. You can get a nice, clean, blank slide. And let's title our presentation. Okay, so my first slide had um, like a green border around it. So the way that you do that is you go to pick a color and I'm going to pick a light green here. And I'm actually going to go to file and scroll down till I get to page setup and select custom. And this is totally not necessary, but I'm going to change this to six and apply just because it's going to make it easier on me later. So it's 10 by six inches, this slide. And again, you don't need to do that, but you'll see why I did it in a second. And then I'm going to insert a shape. I'm going to do a rectangle. And it doesn't really matter the size because now I'm going to right click and go to format options. So right click two fingers on the trackpad and go to format options. And now I want the size of this. So remember my whole slide is 10 by six. So if I want to get a one inch border on each side, I've got to subtract an inch from the top, inch from the bottom and an inch on each side. So 10 inches minus two is eight and six inches minus two is four. And that's why I made it nice integer numbers, whole numbers, just to make that step a little bit easier. So again, that step is optional. I can close this out. And now I wanna change the fill color of this shape to be white and a transparent border. So I've got my shape and let's just make sure 
that it is centered. So I go to arrange center on page horizontally and then do it again for vertically. Nice. Now it's nice and centered. And now I can just go ahead and type my directions. Okay, so I've got my directions on here and I want to change the font. I am going to use Roboto Mono because I like that font. It's, oh, that's not the one I want. I want Roboto Condensed. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's a nice clean font, easy to read, but I do want it to be a bit bigger. That might work. I might be a little big. So let's go 24. That looks good. Okay. So if you want this on the top, you just go to a line and shift it to the top if that's how you want it. Or if you want it in the middle, do like that, however you like it. And I'm also going to add my Bitmoji. And I want something money related. So I'll search for money. Okay, so this is the one. Drag that right in here and arrange her accordingly. So I want her just kind of flush with the bottom there. And I use that red line to guide me. And now I'm going to grab one of the corners so that she maintains that same width and height ratio and just make her a little smaller. That looks good. So now I'm just going to hit enter a couple times so that the text isn't, you know, and she's not covering any of the text. And that looks good. So now let's go on and make our next slide. So I'm just going to hit the plus sign. And I forgot to duplicate a blank slide. So I'm just going to drag my cursor down, hit delete. A lot of people ask me why I do it that way. I guess it's just habit. I just, you know, that's the way that I tend to do it. So now we need to set a background for this slide. So I'm going to choose an image and do a Google image search. And I wanted it to look like a tabletop. You can do whatever works for you. And let's go with that one. And insert. So there's my background. Now I'm going to insert a text box right here. And going to fill that in. Let's make it white. And let's make a nice border, but make it nice and thick. There we go. And then whatever the, the sum is that you want the kids to add the money up to. There we go. And again, I'm going to make that Roboto condensed and bigger. There we go. So now I need my coins. And so I'm going to go to insert image, search the web, and pick a quarter that I like the image of. And hopefully it's actually transparent. Okay, that one looks great. I'm going to close this out for the time being so I've got more workspace. And now, I'm going to need more quarters. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this quarter. So that's Command D or Control D, depending on what kind of computer you're on. I do it about 10 times. However many you want in your stack of quarters, that's how many you do. And then I start, I just click down somewhere above the picture so that I can drag a box around all of them. And then I'm going to right click two fingers on the trackpad. And I'm going to align horizontally center. And then I'm going to do it again where I right click align vertically middle. And now I have a whole stack of quarters and to move them again, I just, you can't just, if I try and just pick up and move it, that's not going to work. Command Z or Control Z puts it right back on top. What I have to do is I have to drag my cursor around that to make a whole box. So I'm dragging, so I'm moving the whole thing at once. So there we go. There's my stack of quarters. And then I do the same thing with all the different coins. Okay, so for the nickel, we're going to have to do something slightly different. What we're going to do is we're going to start a new slide. So the problem is all the nickels 
have background. So we need to get rid of that. So let's go to a new slide and we can just drag a picture of a nickel in here. Maybe size it down just a tad. And then I'm gonna go to File, Download, PNG, and it'll only do this slide that I'm on, so I don't need to worry about the other slides. And then I'm gonna go to a website called remove.bg. Remove.bg is a great tool, super, super helpful. So all I have to do is take that most recent file from this gray bar down here where it downloads and drag it right up here. There it is, and now I'm just gonna download it. So now I go back to my slides. And I can delete this one. Cross that out for now. And then I take the most recent download and drag it right in. And there we go. If dragging it from the gray bar on the bottom doesn't work, you can just insert image from your computer and it's usually in your downloads folder. There we go. So there's my nickel. Gonna do the same thing. Okay, so this is great. Now all the kids have to do is drag the correct amount of change into the box and then move on to the next slide. I just press Command Z four times to undo the last four things that I did to get those points back in the stack. But here's the problem. They could move that and I don't really want that. So let's figure out a solution to that. So first I can delete this because that was just to get rid of the background. And now let's uh, let's duplicate this slide. So I'm gonna highlight the slide over here on the left and press Command D and duplicate the slide. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase all these. Just highlight all of them and erase them. And now I'm gonna change the amount. Okay. So this part of the background is what I don't want the kids to be able to move. I only want them to be able to move the coins. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to File, Download, PNG, and now I'm gonna start a new slide. And again, just clear this out. Now over here, when the slide is highlighted, now that it's blank, if I press Command D to duplicate, I'm actually gonna get a bunch of blank slides, so I don't have to do that again. And now I'm gonna go to Background, Choose Image, Upload, and let's browse. You can either browse, this is, I'm gonna show you how to browse, but you can just drag it from the gray bar, it's the most recent one. But just in case you don't have that or you're having problems with that, I also wanna show you how to do it from here. So let's go to Downloads. And I have my downloads sorted by date modified. So the newest ones are at the top. So that's it, it's right there. And now I have this as a background. So now nothing can be moved here. I can try and drag this, nothing happens. So that's a much better, way. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to highlight all of these and press command or control C to copy. And now I'm going to come back to this slide and press control V. And now I have all my coins here. So for 96 cents, I would just drag the coins accordingly. So now this is the one that's editable so that I can make the next amount. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. So I'm gonna to go to File, Download, PNG. Go to a blank slide. And Background, 
Oh, actually, um, we will. Uh, so last time we did it by browse. So this time let's do it by dragging from the gray bar. Again, these are different ways to do it. You can do it the same way every time. You just grab the most recent download, drag it up here. And there it is, non-editable. So now all we have to do is highlight, drag our cursor over all four piles, control C, control V, and there we go. We've got the next slide. So you can do as many of these as you like. I think I did eight slides in my original activity, and then you'll share it through Google Classroom. Of course, I can either fix this one or just delete it. And this is my editable one. So if I wanted to do another one for 61 cents, the one I just deleted, I just do it here. Do the same thing, download, uh, set the background, add the coins. And when I'm all done, just highlight the slide on the left, the editable one, and delete it. And now I have my activity for the students. Okay, so when we're all done with the activity, there's one slide left to do, the slide to let them know that they're done. So let's go to background and to color. And I want, let me just X out this bar at the bottom. I want the same green I used at the beginning. Let's see if that's the right one. Okay, that looks like it. So now I want to add a couple of things. One is a Jiffy sticker. So I go to the Jiffy website, which is a great website. Type in my search, good job. And it's gonna show me some GIFs of good job, but I want the stickers, this actual one, that one's pretty cool. I want some stickers. So this is the one that I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this link right here, and then I go back to my slides. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert image by URL and paste it here, Control V or Command V, and insert it. And then I have my sticker and arrange it. I'm gonna put it over here on the side. And I am gonna make sure that that is centered vertically. Looks good. Now I just need a Bimoji. And if you type thumbs up, you get this girl. And then I'm gonna right click, two fingers on the trackpad, and select rotate, flip horizontally. And then just move her down so she's flush with the bottom. Oh, I want a little, there we go. Because I see the red line, I know I'm good. And actually, I'm going to move her over just a little. Okay, now I need a shape. So let's insert a shape. And I'm going to use a call out. Call out. Oh, there you are. It's not a shape, it's a call out. I'm going to use a call out. So let's use this one. And just draw it right in. And I'm going to change the border thickness there. And then call up oh, and also the border color. I want that to be black. Okay, and now I can just type right in here. And again, I want to use the same font that I've been using. Okay, so I use Google Classroom. So I, I always, obviously, I'm going to have them submit through Google Classroom. If you use something different, that's totally fine, but I'll show you how to do it with Classroom. So I'm gonna highlight that and insert link, but now I need the link. So what I'm gonna do is, so I wanna copy a link in Google Classroom. I can't use the link to the assignment because the assignment's not here yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to link to the topic. So right here, the three dots next to the topic I'll be assigning under, I select copy link and I go back to my slides and paste it right in there. Command V or Control V. And that's it for this activity. So let's go on to the next one. So this is the final result where I have the students go through and just bring the coins up. And now all I need to do is assign it in Google Classroom.
Okay, so I'm in Google Classroom, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Create an Assignment. I'm going to title it, give whatever instructions I want to, and I'm going to add from my Google Drive the activity that we just created. Now, here are my options. Students can view file. That means they can only look at it. So that's good for like a library or something where you just want them to click on links. Students can edit file. That means they get your original and they can all edit it or make a copy. So since I need students to be able to edit these slides, they each need their own copy. So I'm gonna make a copy for each student. I have a grading set up, so I would have to include a category. You can include a due date, and I like to do a topic to keep it organized. And then you can either assign it, or you can schedule it for later. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign it, or you could save it as a draft if you're not ready to assign it yet, or if you're not ready to schedule it yet. And that's it. That's the assignment. So I hope you learned some valuable tips in there. And let's move on to the next activity. And again, I'm just going to clean up my workspace. Give my activity a title. And I'm going to go through the same procedure I did last time to make the background. OK, so I've got all my directions in here. Um, but I want to add a few things. So for one, here's where you can find undo. And here's the keyboard shortcut, Control Z or Command Z. I'm on a Mac, so it shows you Command Z. But I actually want to do a screenshot of this. A screenshot on a Mac is Command Shift 4. On a Chromebook, it would be Control Shift and the Windows Switch key, I believe. And on a PC, you would just use the snipping tool. I'm going to just do a little screenshot of this section of the screen right here. And then I am going to insert an image, upload from my computer. My screenshots go to my desktop, so I know exactly where it's going to be. And it's the most recent one. I can tell by the date and timestamp that that's the right one. And then I have this that I can just put right here. And then I'm gonna insert a shape and I'm gonna pick a circle this time. Okay, I'm gonna cover the word undo and I am going to, the fill color should be transparent. I'm gonna make my border color red to really make it stand out, and I'm gonna make it a little thicker. Let's try a four point. Okay, great. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna just shift it down a little bit because I want to um, be able to see that the, it's in the edit menu. And just, there we go. And now I'm gonna insert another shape, use an arrow. And let's make that arrow the same red with no border. And there we go. And we'll get to this link on Google Classroom when we're done. So let me just make sure that this is, oh, that's line spacing. I always do that. I go to that rather than a line. Just make sure that's the top. Okay, it is. And let's add a new slide. Again, of course, I forget to duplicate my blank slides. I always do that. So let's just make another blank slide. So let's insert a table here. I'm gonna insert a table and I want it to be two by five. Okay, and it's a little wide for me. I need some other things on this page and I want it taller. Let me just shift it over because I want as much room as possible for my images. And now, oops, I'm just going to put my cursor here and drag down till I get those cells in the left column highlighted. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my fill color just like I would any other shape. 
and my border and my border thickness. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay, so my border weight was eight. I like that one. And I actually want to move this row up. Let's change our font. So notice it changed here, but it did not change here. So I'm just going to highlight this. Triple click to highlight the whole text and do the same. So now I want this. Let's see, I'm going to highlight all this text over here. And I want this to be bold. And I want it to be centered. Okay, there we go. And now I need to drag this down a little bit more. And I could distribute the, oops, commands eight. Okay, let's try this again. Let's make this one a little bit longer. This one a little bit longer. 